What's up everybody, I got another POV tutorial for you and this time I'm gonna teach you how to pop shove it, but in the first person. All right, so let me cut to the split screen right now. So now you should be able to see in regular and goofy. So prerequisites for the pop shove it, there's not really anything in particular. Just be comfortable riding on your board, you know, maybe you know how to ollie. Well, there's nothing really similar to a pop shove it motion. It's kind of like you just learn it on your own, but just make sure you're comfortable on your board where you're gonna be like rotating the board and be able to jump on it. So make sure you're just comfortable enough first. So pretty much just the basics of the pop shove it. You're gonna be standing on your board, right? And you're gonna be popping and scooping the board so that can do a 180 degree rotation so that you can jump on it, right? So again, just to show you, you're popping the board with your back foot, scooping it so it can do a 180 degree rotation. Also, I apologize in advance if the wind's really loud. So first, just to go over the foot position on how I do pop shove it. So when you get on the board, I'd recommend when you put your front foot on, have it close to the bolts, maybe under or just on top of it. And actually angle your foot 45 degrees towards the nose so your toe points a little bit that way because if you try to pop shove with your front foot uh, pointed directly there it's kind of hard to get it to get away from the board and then catch it with your front foot it's going to kind of get in the way so actually twisting it 45 degrees towards the nose is able to you know it's easier just to jump on it after also with your back foot pretty much just put it like in the back pocket on the tail you don't want your toes hanging too far over but i would say just put it where your toes are pretty much right near the edge of the tail right there so you can get a solid pop and scoop on it all right so common mistake number one that i see the most sometimes the board will scoop and go backwards right even though it's supposed to scoop and go forward as you do it so there's kind of two reasons this is going to be happening the first one is that you may not be getting enough pop so you might like just try to roll it around you see how it goes backwards without really popping it it is possible to do it without popping just like a normal shove it like this when you're first starting it can be a little confusing so really when starting off i really recommend trying to get a pop first because the more you pop it the more you separate it from the ground so it can actually go forward because if you don't pop it when you do a pivot shove it goes backwards as you can see right also another way to fix this i really recommend just going forward and rolling while doing this instead of doing it while stationary because you're gonna be forced to kind of scoop it forward you can do it stationary but i really recommend trying it while rolling so i think the best way to fix this issue is a lot of people think when you're doing the pop shove it right you just scoop backwards i actually think that's not the best way i think the best way to do it is actually think of it as like scooping diagonally forward because you want to actually shove this tail forward in that direction if you kind of just scoop your back foot just straight back it kind of just like flings it in front of you sometimes you can fling it too far but if you look at my back foot as i do this when i scoop it diagonally forward it keeps it under me more <laughs> and i almost fell on that one basically if you look closely my back foot is just scooping it diagonally forward so i can actually just shove it in front of me rather than just scooping straight backwards So the next common mistake is when you're doing the pop shove it and it actually flips as you're trying to do the shove motion. So this can be happening for multiple reasons. One of the reasons might be because your back foot is like too far off to the side. So it's no like really true guiding foot that's supposed to catch the pop shove motion from flipping. So I recommend, like I said before, at the foot position, having it close to the bolts and actually put your foot more over the board. Don't have it too far off to the side because it's gonna be, you know, really unstable as you're on it. You really want most of your foot to be over it so that you're able to actually catch it when you're doing the shove motion. So really make sure, you know, you just keep that front foot up there, keep it over the majority of the board, so it's ready to catch it. I didn't even pop there, but it still works. <laughs> Another reason could be that, you know, you have your back foot too far over, so you could be like scooping it too much, or almost does like a tray motion in a way. Back foot too far over, you scoop it, it might flip like that. So again, like I mentioned when I was talking about the foot position earlier, with your back foot, I would say get it like in the pocket of the tail so you want it like near the edge but don't hang it off too far you just want it kind of there just so you can pop it and scoop it and sometimes you can even have it in this other pocket here it just depends on like if you're kind of scooping it too much where it's flipping you can just do figure out whatever is comfortable for you so now one of the most important ways to stop it from flipping you do not want to have your front foot too high or away from the board as you're doing the trick you want to just only lift it up just a little bit so that it can hover over the board so it's ready to catch it when it does the 180 degree rotation so if you look at my front foot i barely lift it or do anything with it i just hover it over so it's ready to catch it so even though that wasn't the best catch it was still able to stop the motion so it doesn't flip or do any extra rotations my front foot is literally just hovering over the front of the board 
ready to catch the other part of the board. Just don't tuck your knee up too high as you're doing this. Let's see if I like try to scoop it. See like it had a tendency to actually flip over since it wasn't able to stop the board from rotating. So really just don't jump too high with your front foot. Just have it ready to catch it as it turns over. Also, I'll just exaggerate it right here. Cause you can do it one foot almost. Right? That's the main foot that's gonna be catching it, right? So you just make sure you hover that front foot over so it doesn't flip. So next common mistake, the board may fly away as you're doing the pop shove it like this. It may go too far in front of you where you can't jump on it. So for this, there's really two things you can do. One reason might be that you're scissor kicking as you're doing this. You're kind of using your front foot in the process to shove it like this. You do not want to use your front foot. Just listen to me. You do not want to use your front foot during this trick. Like I mentioned before, all you want to do is just lift your front foot to hover over the board and go on it. You do not want to like scoot forward, do a scissor kick with it because that's really just going to throw the board away more. You just want to use your back foot to scoop the board while your front foot is ready to catch it. So all the motion to scoop the board is only in your back foot. So again, don't scissor kick, just try to hover your front foot over the board. So if it still is kind of going in front of you, but maybe not too far, you actually may want to jump in front of you sometimes, just like go with the motion of the board, because sometimes the momentum just brings it forward. So you can actually jump forward. There's nothing wrong with that. You can try to keep it under you more, uh, pretty much like as you get this trick down. But really just keep your eye on the board and try to keep your front foot hovered over as it's going over and maybe you're jumping forward. So you're just staying over the board. So next common mistake, you might only be able to land with one foot only. So most of the case, it's usually people's front foot, just like this, and you can't get the back foot on. Or a more interesting case, you might be able to land with your back foot only, like this. <laughs> I can't even do that. You might be able to land with your back foot only like this, and not your front foot. So if this is your problem, if you're doing anything, get to the step where you can land with your front foot only first. The back foot only landing is not really gonna help because that's like training you to try to catch it with your back foot. Because like I mentioned before, you wanna catch it with your front foot because it's the guiding foot on this trick. It's gonna be really hard if you try to land with your back foot first. I don't even know if I can do that. I might be able to do it. Yeah, like I could try, but it's a little weirder and harder. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> so first get it to where you can land with your front foot only. After that, it's really just a commitment step because once you can land with your front foot only, you can do a pop shove because all you have to do is just get your back foot on after you get your front foot on. So you just kind of lift your back foot higher so you can put it on the board. Easier said than done, but another way you can kind of fix this is maybe like go from concrete into grass. So let's say I go right here. I can set my board here. And do a pop shove it into the grass so like if you're afraid of slipping then it won't you won't really slip in the grass so you kind of pop shove it into the grass from the concrete right see I, I didn't slip i just kind of stuck into the grass so you can go into the grass you know as many times as you need to to build up that confidence after doing that if you're on concrete to make sure you just don't slip if that's what you're afraid of make sure when you land you try to land as wide as possible with your feet on the bolts or just as wide as you can so if you look i try to just hold my feet in a wide position and hold that as i'm doing the shove and land wide because you'll be the most stable when you have your feet wide on here. But if you land with your feet together, you're not gonna be stable like this. So make sure to keep your feet wide during this trick as you're trying to land it and bend your knees on impact so that you're staying really stable. Sometimes you might be able to do this while rolling into the grass. Right, and you can just kind of jump on it and then hop off. Just really build up the confidence. It takes some time. Someone has to go through your brain where you're just gonna be like, screw it, I'm gonna put both feet on there. All right, so now let me just show you some slow motion clips of the pop shove it so you can really analyze the trick and see how it's done. So that's it for the pop shove tutorial in first person. Really just make sure you drive in your mind to scoop forward instead of back. I think that's one of the most important tips. If you want to see a tutorial with more angles and maybe a little bit more detail, check out my Why You Can't Pop Shove It video. And also let me know which POV tutorials you want to see next. I know you guys are really enjoying this. So just let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.